Well, how sturdy are your company's platforms? And we're not talking platform <laughs> shoes. No, we're not. Unless your company is Zappos, which has built a platform for peddling platforms. A Las Vegas author has a new book on building platforms and getting the most out of the internet for your company. Phil Simon is a tech expert who advises companies on how to optimize their technology. His latest book, The Age of the Platform. Welcome. Thanks for coming on our program. I have to ask you, though, you're expert in technology. Uh, Zappos getting hacked. I mean, it's something many companies have gone through. Um, I mean, there is no hack-proof company. No. I mean, up to and including keeping your business totally offline. Someone could still break into a physical store. There could be a fire or the flood. There's no such thing as complete security. Okay. So let's get on. The big thing that people want to know is how do you monetize your website? This is something that's especially important in our business where newspapers are dying off at a record rate. How? What's the best way? Well, there isn't a secret sauce, Dana. A lot of Come times, on. The, <laughs> a lot of times the monetization is indirect. So in the case of me, if I spend time on my website, then maybe someone books me for speaking or consulting, but it's not like I charge people to read an article or to listen to a podcast. So oftentimes it is indirect in companies that think that if they build a website, then automatically it'll monetize itself, I think are often mistaken. Yeah, I mean, and also too, I mean, when you talk about the New York Times, I mean, that paywall that they set up, for example, trying to monetize that, if you just Google the title, you just you can still read the, uh, the article online. So I mean, there are ways around paywalls. That's absolutely true. Uh, companies like Google, for example, with news or even Facebook, there are, I mean, even a copy and paste on a website, there are about a million right. different ways that you can get around a paywall. I mean, is the bottom line that we're not going to really be able to monetize really websites i mean really do a good job monetizing them until you get really violations of like uh uh you know i mean rules you know banning collaboration and, and that type of thing I mean, well not every website necessarily needs to be monetized and if you think about the website as part of your overall business's platform then maybe you don't need to directly monetize the website maybe you have other planks in your platform as i talk about in the book mm -hmm. you talk about the uh about having sticky products and services to keep people coming back what does that mean yes platforms by their nature are very addictive uh, for example, Facebook does studies to make sure that they keep you on their site. That's why it's added the different planks. If you go back to 2003, 2004, Facebook was basically a way for you to communicate with your friends if you were in college. Well, now Facebook is so much more. Companies have different uh, pages on the site. You can do chat. You can do email. You can read news. You can watch videos. You can do so many different things that keeps you on the platform, and that's what these companies are doing. When you look at a website, what are they for, for new companies, startup companies? What's like the biggest mistake you see them making? Too much. They try to cram everything on the front page, and they don't use images. If you're looking at a lot of discrete test, text links, I think that you're going to confuse people. You want to draw them in. People are going to look at a site within three to five seconds and decide that they want to stay there. Otherwise, they're going to bounce. That's why they call it a bounce rate. Most websites have bounce rates of 70 to 90 percent because they're not designed well. So target that on page, and kind of less is more to an extent. Yeah, learn from Steve Jobs. They seem to do well with a minimalist approach. Very interesting, and you talk about the gang of four, and we are out of time, but the, it, I recommend it. Interesting read. Thanks Thank for being here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And that's all the time we have this week. That's right. In case you missed the story or want to watch past programs, check out our archive at vegasinc.com slash TV. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you here uh, next week on Vegasinc. Thank you.